could happen again. The never-ending toilet running situation that I've been dealing with since we purchased this fifth wheel. What happens is you go and flush your toilet like you normally would. I shut the water off. That's why it's not doing it right now. The handle comes up and it just keeps running. And you, if the seal, you know, if you can get it to stick a little bit, you can get it where the water will just run into the tank. And of course it's filling your, filling your black tank up right away. So you have to run out there and shut the water off. But I have replaced these valves five times. This is going to be number six. Now the other toilet stuck a couple days ago, but I was able to just go like this and that boom, released it and the water stopped running. But this one, no, it won't do it at all. So you know what? I figured what the heck, you know, six time of this toilet. I mean, so if you have this porcelain toilet like this, with this valve set up like that, you know, maybe, you know, if it happens to you, you know what to do before you flood because I'm telling you, I will actually, every time we leave this fifth wheel unattended, I shut the water off because I'm always worried about, you know, let's say Robin came in here, used the bathroom right before he left and that toilet stuck and she didn't realize it because sometimes it will just leak a little bit, not full, full bore, you know, basically it'll just keep trickling and um, it's because of that same valve um, and you don't even catch it because it happened to us. I mean, we had a river running through here when we first bought this fifth wheel. So, you know, and, and I've tried aftermarket ones. Let's see if we can get this camera where you can see. You can buy these at an RV store. Now I have both of them in here and I've, used, I've swapped them out with both of them all the time. And you'll pay like 40 some bucks, 45 bucks for one of these from the RV store. On Amazon, I think they're 22 or $24 a piece. Man, I, I, I have an endless drawer in there full of these things because, you know, I don't know what else I'm going to do about this unless I swap the toilets out. You know, I, I thought maybe we had too much water pressure, but it'll do it even on the pump. If I have, I have a pump going with no, you know, no city hookup or anything and the same problem happens. So it's not, it's not too much pressure to it because when these first started happening, I bought the pressure regulators and reduced my water so you could barely even take a nice shower and, you know, still did it. So this thing sets in here behind you like this. Um, it's like that right there. It clicks in with these things here has two screws that hold it in. I might only have one in there because I've let's get that toilet paper on my head. Because I've changed them so much. But that's what you gotta do, folks. And I mean it's not hard to do. That's not the problem. It's just a nuisance that never ends for us. I don't understand why why things have just gotta keep going like this all the time. You know, maybe I wasn't meant to be in the RV life. I know Robin wasn't, but I'm telling you, I did this stuff 20 years ago. Never, never, never had to replace any of my stuff. I don't know if these things were just built better back then or what the deal is, but I never, you know, heck, I didn't even know how my toilets worked back then because they just worked. If that makes any sense. You just, you used them and you didn't think nothing about it. But with this thing, I've had to work on everything and I know everybody thinks I keep complaining or people say, well, you shouldn't have bought a Riverstone. It's not the Riverstone. The construction, the walls, the floors, the stuff that Riverstone works on and does, excellent job. You know, but I'm telling you, all this aftermarket stuff that they buy from these other companies and have, you know, have it put in their, in their units is just a bunch of junk. I don't know, you know, if this... You know, let's say you had one that he's before COVID. Does your toilet work perfect? Did I just get the COVID nightmare? Because COVID has seemed to have been a nightmare in our life ever since this stuff happened. So, you know, I don't know. It's just, it just gets old. I had other projects that I needed to get done today because we didn't want to get back on the road. And, and here I got to swap this out because it wouldn't shut off. one of these clips got stuck in there. It should just pop out, but it doesn't all the time. Isn't it funny how I um, 
not put this on camera and it takes two seconds but that's the little piece that broke off so but now that i am doing it on camera you can see what happens but it's all it is so i'm sure that little plunger is just sticking and the water just keeps going so, I mean, it's pretty basic and like i said i only have one screw in mind because it holds it in place and as much as i'm replacing these things all the time i get tired of you know putting another screw so i have to keep pulling out two all the time because it's in there solid you'll see that it doesn't give us any problems at all. but if your toilet keeps running this I've never even checked because this was pretty easy to do but I thought you know what since I do a video about everything might as well do a video about this one too I'm gonna have to get a get a pair of pliers and tighten that up a little bit more I guess I forgot to bring them in but I'll tighten that up and then I'll turn the water on and see if it doesn't leak again so this is for you people that are wanting to get rid of your stick house and to do RV life full time or, or just live in one of these on property like we planned on doing that really didn't work out the way we thought it would either. This is what you're dealing with all the time. I, I, you know, I don't think I ever had to even fix one of our toilets in the house in the six years I was living there. So, you know, I don't know. It's just, you would think that it wouldn't be like this all the time. So, all right, I'm gonna go get a, I'm gonna go get a pair of pliers and tighten that up, turn the water on, see what we got. So we'll be back in a few minutes. All righty, the water's turned on. Let's see if we have any leaks. I don't feel any leaks. Water shut off. Don't feel any leaks there. But I mean, that's what it is. Before you just go like that and the water just keep on running. And it would just, yesterday this did this and it filled that tank so fast you wouldn't believe it because I wasn't here. Robin didn't know what to do. But now, guess what? Robin knows how to go outside and turn the water on and turn the water off. Something she probably should have known a long time ago, right folks? But you know, sometimes a woman just gets used to having somebody like me that just fixes everything and does everything. And, She's never had to worry about that, but the funny part was I told her not to use the toilet in the other bathroom because this problem was happening with the other one. So I said, if I'm gone, use this one. She did exactly what she was supposed to, and then this toilet does it. I mean, I'm telling you, we either got a curse or the worst luck on the planet. So 